Every year under the new moon in August, fisheries biologists are conducting hydroacoustic surveys on Lake Sakakawea, targeting smelt and other cold water forage that typically inhabit the deeper cold water. The biologists have about 50 predetermined transects from Garrison Dam to the Newtown Bridge. We start at dark and end at daylight. Um, and when you have a dark moon, those densely schooled bait fish tend to spread out more. They're not as schooled as tightly. So that allows you to get better target definition with your echo sounder. Frida says the large scientific echo sounder the biologists use during the survey is similar to a fish finder on most boats, except this is a big fish finder hooked up to a laptop computer. Displays what we're tracking and then the computer stores all that data. Instead of just showing you an image, it actually stores the data on each individual fish it tracks, where they're located in the water column. and. Then we use that when we get back and analyze that data. We figure out how many smelt per cubic meter of water we have in the lake, and then that's extrapolated by the amount of cold water habitat, and that's how we get our estimate. The data collected is very important to the management of Lake Sakakawea's fishery. Lake Sakakawea largely lives and dies the health of the fishery by what smelt populations are like, especially the, the salmon population and the walleye population to, to a large extent. The hydroacoustic equipment can count how many fish and the size of fish, but it can't determine the species of fish. So at the same time the surveys are conducted at night, the biologists are setting deep water nets to confirm what they think they're seeing at night. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.